we have in, in, amongst academics in America, amongst left-wing thinkers in America, a lot of propaganda, a lot of uh, very bad, very serious de declarations against Israel, actually calling for the the genocide for the extermination of the Jewish people, and they're getting away with it. And they're backed by quarter, backed by Arab money. And uh, they have a lot of support amongst young people. It says uh, a survey that we just found, 51% of Americans between the ages of 18 and 24 said they believe the long-term answer to the Israel-Palestinian conflict was for Israel to be ended and given to the Hamas of Palestine. Only 32% said they believe in a two-state solution. Just 17% said other Arab states should be asked to absorb Palestinian populations. So reading between the lines, 17% were actually in favour of encouraging the Palestinians, the Arabs, to move out. And another 32% were believed in the two-state uh, solution. So we have almost a half of Americans in favour of Israel, almost half or not. And who are all these young people? Most of these young people Statistically, they're, they're not the original Americans. They're descendants of Mexicans, of Asians, of, of all kinds of uh, other peoples who are now taken over America. And they're liable to take over America and to cause damage to it. And they are not Israelites. And they are in America. And they are coming up. And so we may have a problem with this. And so America might have a problem with this. Uh, America itself as it is and we were warned against this Deuteronomy 28 says the alien Deuteronomy 28 verse 43 onwards the alien that is the stranger the non-Israelite who is among you shall rise higher and higher come up he'll get up they are appointing him the head of universities as they, as they have done they will give him uh, they'll make him uh, important government officials as they have done he will be this and he will be that. And the alien and he will, this will come step after step. The alien who is among you shall rise higher and higher above you and you shall come down lower and lower. And your own situation will uh, be reduced. He shall lend to you but you shall not lend to him. He shall be the head and you shall be the tail. Even now they have a monetary hold, a fiscal hold through China over the finances of the USA. The USA is able to get away with it and to live on their, at their expense because they, they are very smart people in America who enable that to happen, but who knows how long it will continue. And uh, the, the Bible continues, Moreover, all these curses shall come upon you and pursue and overtake you until you are destroyed because you did not obey the voice of the Lord your God to keep his commandments and his statutes which he commanded you. And it shall be on you for a sign and a wonder on your descendants forever. Because you do not serve the Lord your God with joy and heart, gladness of heart, with the abundance of everything. Therefore you shall serve your enemies, and the Lord will send against you in hunger and thirst and nakedness and in need of everything. Put a yoke of iron on your neck until he has destroyed you. The Lord will bring a nation against you from afar, from the end of the earth, as swift as the eagle flies. A nation whose language you will not understand. A nation of fierce countenance which does not respect the elderly and will show favor to the young. And that is what we have. We have people like that over the seas, not that far away. Cruel people, people who do not respect the age, do not respect women, do not respect the weak. Who despise you because of your kindness, the kindness of your heart. That is the reality that we are faced with and this is a warning that we have come up against. But nevertheless, in the meantime, God is still with us. And God willing, he will continue to be and we will find a way out of this. We should know. The, the yesterday, or the, the day before yesterday, there was, uh, as most of you probably saw, the leader of the opposition in Turkey. The leader of the opposition in Turkey, Hazan Bitmetz, 54 member parliament from the opposition, the Turkish opposition. He was giving a speech before, you can see it on, uh, you can see it on YouTube. Well, uh, you can see it on the media. But there seems to be fairly a full house. He's speaking in Parliament. He's giving 
uh, his uh, fire and brimstone speech is speaking uh, uh, full of fiery enthusiasm against the Jews, against the Jewish state, against support for the Jewish state, against us. And he was condem condemning the Erdogan government for not cutting ties altogether with Israel, for not going for the, the full uh, the full way. Even though Erdogan is critical of Israel, is not necessarily a friend of ours. He he knew where to stop. But so he, this person Bitsan Bitmez was criticizing him, and he said. Even if you escape the torment of history, you said in Turkish, even if you escape the, the torment of, her, of history, you'll not be able to escape the wrath of God, he said. He spoke for 20 minutes, you'll not be able to escape the wrath of God. And what happened to him? He felt the wrath of God on the spot, uh, 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 and he fell down with a heart attack. You can see him suddenly fall, collapse on the floor. And all the other members of Parliament race to help him, lift him up, and they carried him out, and he died. So may all your enemies fall. That is what the Bible says. So fall all your enemies, O Lord. So may all the enemies of God meet such a fate in such a way. Uh, so that is that. Also we should know that we are seeing now before our eyes is our fighting against the population of Gaza. The Philistine, the Canaanite descendants of, of heathen in Gaza fighting against them. And it is certain that Gaza will be evacuated. They won't be able to go back. And what will happen to the populace? No one really knows. It's undecided. Israel is trying to get other countries to take them away. It's trying to find countries who will take them. And naturally the world is against it, but there may be no other choice. That is an option that is on the table, that has already been planned, spoken about. Fears have been pulling out to possible locations. And their locations include, include countries in uh, Latin America. And there's still a chance that this might happen. And this, indeed, was what we understood the Bible to be saying will happen. It says in Isaiah 11, chapter 11, The envy of Ephraim shall depart. In other words, at some stage there was a certain type of resentment amongst the ten tribes against Judah. The envy of Ephraim shall depart, and the adversaries of Judah shall be cut off. Those who are against the Jews shall be finished, knocked away. Ephraim shall not envy Judah. The Judah shall not harass Ephraim, but they shall fly upon the shoulder of the Philistines toward the western Hebrew, it says. They will put the Philistines, the Palestinians, on wings, in other words, in planes, and fly them to the west or over the sea. The word for sea and for west in Hebrew are the same. And he goes on, together they shall plunder the people of the east, they shall lie their hand on Edom and Moab, and the people of Ammon shall obey them. The Lord will utterly destroy the tongue of the sea of Egypt. With his mighty hand he will shake his fist over the river, and strike it in the seven streams, and make men cross over dry shot. And even if it doesn't turn out that way, tomorrow, sooner or later the Bible indicates that it will happen. And we can see, we're seeing now before our eyes, that this is a very apparent, this is a possibility. Yesterday, uh, a couple of days ago, I also said the same thing. And uh, some of you probably, if you heard me then, you probably said, it's very nice, we're wishful thinking. We'll live and see, it doesn't seem very probable. Now it is probable. Now it is possible. Now it could happen and we wouldn't be surprised that it's happening. So that's the way things turn out.